What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Dirt Face Nightly build. This is the community alpha build by the way of Android 11 but before I show you that let me actually tell you that all the like deals which are going on right now on Amazon festive sale and even the big billion day sale all the deals that I found will be listed in the description box below and those are affiliate links and those does help my channel out. If you want to help my channel out and buy some things for you in this big billion day sales or even this Amazon's like festive kind of sale offer, you can use those links and you can find great deals. And I will be updating the description with a lot of deals. So do check it out if you are really into like buying. Right now, let's continue with this video. This is the 15th October 2020 build of the Dirtface Trom. And this is the community alpha build by the way not the official kind of build because as you can see it says unofficial right here and if you see the change logs you will notice a lot of interesting things well why they are interesting because the previous build of the same rom did not have any customization or it had like very minimal customization things and you can see the change logs from here you can read it out there are a lot of things which the questions are pretty funky and they have been answered by the developers like pretty much amazingly well let me actually show you the about section over here as you can see this is the 15th october 2020 again community alpha build android 11 darfish version and of course this is based on android 11 if you are noticing right here we have this kind of thing let me go back and darfish logo on top the security patch is latest of october 5th 2020 here and the Google Play system update shows as September 1st, 2020, which is fine. And we have the stock kernel as per G kernel. Let me actually show you from the system. Of course, there is still no system updater as of right now. And here we do have these gestures. And if you go to the system navigation gestures, of course, you will find this left edge, right edge gesture. The Android 11 gestures are working fine. Two button and three button navigation both are there. They should work fine. Quickly open camera is there if you want to use that and we do have this like sounds for the front camera popping out these kind of notification sound over here and you can disable camera led if you want to the stock keyboard is gboard and if you want to flash this rom by the way you can click on the card right there i have shown how to flash this particular rom this is like pretty easy and it is similar to most other android 10 roms flashing guide and by the way again this rom includes g apps so you do not need to flash g apps separately you just flash the latest firmware the rom file and f group disabled if your storage is decrypted and you reboot that's it of course the stock launcher is the pixel launcher let me actually show you i am using a like live wallpaper over here and if you are noticing this is the pixel launcher for android 11 i guess let me actually go back from here and it does not have much things like we have these suggestions disabling option nothing much we do have this google's discover page to the left side of the home screen swiping down gets you to the notification panel as you can see and there is a quick settings panel which i'll show you later on swiping up gets you to the app drawer no double tap to sleep yet on the home screen at least like anywhere on the home screen but there is double tap to sleep on the status bar as you can see it is working flawlessly no issues with that and yeah sometimes as you can see when i use the double tap to sleep the screen kind of flickers as you can see it wakes up again it is a little bit weird whenever i'm double tapping if you're noticing right now it did not do that flickering kind of thing but yeah while using double tapping to sleep there is a little bit of flicker which happens let me actually go into the settings you will find the derp quest over here and if i go into it there are customizations that's the most interesting part and this is the first android 11 rom which has this much customization i feel for the redmi k20 pro at least inside status bar we have this show 4g lte icon the vaulty icon is there and if i go over here we have these many vaulty icons as you're noticing we also have this mui miui 11 etc vaulty icons there is also this view wi-fi icon you can enable view wi-fi instead of vaulty or view wi-fi icon enabled and stuff like that there is the view wi-fi icon style too so you can change the view wi-fi icon style like the vaulty icon style so that is really great and we have this network monitor if you want to enable that right now as you can see it's enabled but this thing which i'm using over here this is the internet speed meter apps kind of notification and this is enabled by default i guess i'll just disable it for the time being you can actually enable and use it if you want to and in the quick settings panel we do have this brightness slider and if you tap over here you can actually have the brightness slider to the bottom right now as you can see it's on the top you can have it on the bottom just like this so yeah and there is this above footer kind of thing so yeah it goes above this footer kind of area 
So yeah, this is a very cool feature in my opinion. We have this show quick setting for the text and stuff. Then let me go back. We do have the power menu. And here, as you can see, there are the screenshot, screen record, etc. But there is no advanced reboot option to enable from here, but it is enabled by default. If I show you the power menu, as you can see, there are the power off and restart. Right now, if I tap restart, as you can see, these things appear. Looks really amazing in my opinion. Right now, if you tap restart on the power menu, you can directly reboot to system, recovery, bootloader or fast boot. It says, let's actually test if the like advanced reboot actually works. So I'll just tap restart and I'm going to tap recovery over here. So it says restarting to recovery mode. Let's wait for the time being. So that seems great. It actually booted to the recovery itself, which I have over here as the orange fox recovery r11 let me just reboot to system right now quickly and inside lock screen we do have the lock screen charging info and here of course 18 watt fast charging is still working lock screen clock and stuff is there as you can see let me go back we have this about derf restriction from where you can go to the telegram community the github page and you can donate to the developers from here i guess so that's pretty great now Another great thing which I am noticing over here, I'm going to tell you right away, the safety net status right now passes right out of the box. You do not need to flash magic. That's the most interesting part about this ROM, I feel. And I flashed this ROM because of this reason. And I have tested Google Pay and I have tested with the SBI card app and stuff like that. So yeah, those works right out of the box without any issues on Android 11. And that too without magic hide or even without flashing magic. So that is great and banking apps are working right out of the box here you should not worry about it the drm info over here still stays l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime in 1080p here without any issues to talk about more things like the quick settings panel this is how it looks like and you can add multiple toggles from here like the airplane mode location invert color screencast caffeine sync etc also there are some app kind of thing and here i have also added the screen recorder and for the screen recorder the great feature over here is that you can record the device audio as well as the microphone audio at the same time and with that you can play games so you can have the in-game sound from your friends and the game sound itself then you have your own microphone sound if you're someone who does mobile gaming and uploads the recorded gameplays on youtube or somewhere you can do that from here now let me go back to the settings again and let's actually go into this mobile network and let's try okay so wi-fi calling is right now enabled so yeah, even though the Wi-Fi calling is enabled, I think it's a little bit weird right now. But as you can see, Vaulty calls are actually working fine, but the stock dialer does not have any call recording option. But view Wi-Fi could be a little bit buggy and that's not a problem right now. I would say this is still an early build. And if I go into this battery settings here, as you can see, we do have this battery percentage, the screen on time, thermal profiles, etc. The battery life is very good. I am getting about eight plus hours of screen on time pretty much over here. No issues with the battery life here. And also again, 18 watt fast charging works fine. In the display settings, we have the brightness level, night light, etc. Screen timeout is there. You can set it to 30 minutes or something if you want that. Double tap to wake thing is there, but I cannot find the double tap to sleep for some reason. The double tap to sleep like working right out of the box here that is a little bit weird but yeah the double tap to sleep feature i cannot turn it on or off from here in the lock screen even as you can see there is the always show time and info like the always on display this is pretty much but i cannot find the double tap to sleep on the status bar disabling feature and anti flicker mode is there you can use that if you want to font size display size the dpi you can change and dark theme you can schedule that then there is the accent colors and as you can see plethora of accent colors are there this blue cinnamon and stuff like that pixel blue torch red purple heat magenta and stuff like that is there then we have the headline and body fonts and as you can see again plethora of body fonts are there considering this is still an early build the customizations are just increasing day by day on android 11 and i'm loving it and here we have the icon shapes here we have pebble square vessel etc i did not even try those as you can see and let me actually try this vessel icon okay so this is how it looks like well pretty much looks weird i would say so i'm gonna go back to the device default and here we have the icon packs changing option you can choose to rounded field or circular icon packs in the sound settings we do have this vibrate for calls and stuff you can enable this vibrate first then ring gradually and stuff like that and this is how the volume panel looks like and you can expand it just like this to control the media call etc volume 
let me go back we have the dnd stuff over here live caption mode is there and here on the bottom we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound and vibration touch sound touch vibration etc disabling option and inside dirac and sound enhancer we do have this youth edition and with this youth edition preset i would say the sound output via the headphone jack is great i did not have any issues over here with the sound quality with headphone jack or even with bluetooth i did not have any issues you can also use this hi-fi thing over here for the audio like great audio quality if you have a great headphone you can use that some disappointing thing is that we do not have any app lock or face unlock yet but i am quite sure that those will be added in the future updates but one good thing over here is that there is the pin scrambling feature so if i enable that right now let me actually show you okay so right now as you can see the pin scrambling is actually working fine and here as you can see the numbers are totally like in a weird way and you can see right this is a weird set of numbers and even if you enter your pin somebody won't just notice like one two three four so yeah this is a weird kind of pattern over here and it like shuffles between like whenever you are unlocking i think it shuffles when once you enter pin talking about the stock camera this is the google camera go and anx camera is of course not available yet so you should not expect stuff like anx or miui camera right now but you have to wait for like about two months right now to like get anx camera for android 11 here we have this zooming kind of thing but it does not simply have the lens switching feature this google camera go does not have that so that's the reason why i have installed google camera 7 this is by yonix and right now i can switch to the other lenses with this camera as you can see i can switch to the 2x or the wide angle lens with this camera and it does work fine without any issues and if you want to install this google camera you can click on the card right there and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the benchmarks for this rom the ram management and stuff is still great no issues with that and here as you can see the screenshots and stuff is there so i can take a screenshot just like this so that is very cool and you can select any text from here so these are the android 11 kind of features they are still working fine i would say this is one hell of a great rom right now for the redmi k20 pro if you want to try out android 11 with like banking apps working with a little bit of touch of the customizations you can definitely do that so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet and do check out the deals from the description if you really want to buy something on this festive season and that's been it this is tito from kd index signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now